Hello, my name is Patrick Martin. I'm an undergraduate at the DigiPen Institute of Technology, studying towards a Bachelor of Science in Real-Time Interactive Simulation and working toward minors in both physics and mathematics. This is a real-time soft body physics simulation designed for use in real-time games. Uh, the surface of a soft body object is represented as a series of springs. This is uh, very common for cloth models but the uh, rigid structure of the object is actually represented using a simulation of the pressure force. Uh, this project is currently very much a work in progress and the version you see here is not necessarily the same version available on my website. I will try to point out the differences as I uh, progress through this presentation. The uh, first noticeable difference you'll see if you compare this to the one publicly available is that I do have shadows now. You can see a approximately where the object is uh, laying. It's just a simple orthogonal projection along the light vector uh, implemented in HLSL. Uh, this is a uh, sphere, the most basic soft body object I can represent, and the one I like to represent the most. It's the easiest to simulate with the fewest breaks. I am capable of showing, uh, of simulating uh, toruses, as well as uh, various arbitrary meshes uh, loaded from the .x format. Um, there are a few requirements. I can't have any redundant vertices. Uh, degenerate faces are a bad thing. But in, in general, I can load pretty much any mesh as long as it's uh, correctly pre-processed. Uh, so uh, here I have uh, control over various, uh, various uh, portions of my uh, pressure force simulation. I have, the, uh, of course, a spring constant, which essentially will tighten the object together and uh, molar number is essentially how much air is inside the object itself. I also can change the ideal gas constant if I really wanted to, although that doesn't really change in our universe very much, and also I have the uh, absolute temperature. Uh, all these, uh, if you're not familiar with the ideal gas law, ideal gas law uh, the pressure is, uh, pressure times volume is uh, equal to N times R times T, or the molar number, the ideal gas constant, and the absolute temperature. By dividing these three numbers multiplied together I, uh, by the volume, I can get the actual pressure. Uh, the volume of the object itself, I uh, simulate using an iterative method. You'll see in simulations similar to this that they'll just choose a uh, bounding uh, shape of some kind, usually a sphere or a box or some people are, go along the lines of uh, oriented ellipsoids and cool things like that. I actually go through each one of these triangles and form a tetrahedron uh, between that triangle and the origin. Depending on the uh, direction of the triangle, I will either add its volume to the uh, total volume of the object or subtract it away. Essentially, I can uh, iteratively get the uh, total volume of the object in a very fast manner uh, suitable for games. Uh, so, of course, uh, I'm working on collision detection. It's my current primary focus and is not entirely completed in uh, this project. The collision detection method I have here is actually very different than the one you'll see in my uh, project online. Uh, first thing you may notice are these uh, small white dots, if I get this object to come back over here. These dots are actually approximating the uh, closest features of these two objects. They may reside either on an edge, a vertex, or a face. Uh, they move around based on something very similar to the electromagnetic force. All the dots or particles on one object are, re are repelled by its uh, fellowing, fellow uh, particles via 1 over r squared uh, force. Meanwhile, they're attracted to ones in the opposite mesh with a similar 1 over r squared force. Essentially, one object's positive, one object's negative. Uh, additionally, uh, I ha also have collision between uh, rigid body objects. Rigid body objects collide with each other via using the separating axis theorem. I actually use kind of a hybrid method to detect collision between rigid body objects and soft body objects. Uh, if I can get this object over here or drop a few more. I actually just recently got uh, very stable collisions between both rigid and soft body objects and I'm working towards uh, getting the rigid body objects to rest correctly on the ground as well as uh, I need to actually clean up some of the collision between soft body obje objects themselves. I'm ignoring face face collisions and edge face collisions. So. 
this is uh, essentially my project as it is currently. Like I said, I am still working on it. It uh, hopefully will have it finished by the end of this semester. Uh, I can load some pretty cool meshes in, like uh, the DirectX Tiger comes with a DirectX SDK. Uh, just throw a little cat around. Uh, but that is uh, essentially the, my uh, simulation. Um, my name is Patrick Martin. I will try to post videos of other projects as well as posting updates to this one. Uh, check out my website at www.patricksee.com. Uh, there you can check out an older version of this uh, simulation. Essentially, uh, I worked on it over the summer for a course, Physics uh, 350. Uh, this is actually an independent study now. And uh, I, I have a lot of other programs up there. I have some games I've made. Um, I should know that this simulation is a uh, copyright of DigiPen Institute of Technology. Uh, and, uh, that's about it. So, uh, thanks for watching.